How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and last time I made it through Route 7 over here, and I, uh, I left off right before we entered the Celestial Tower, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. So, here's a look at my team really quick. I think I'm all set for it. Uh, no, I should probably go heal up, although I guess I'm going to have to do some stuff anyway. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and lead with Bossa Nova here. Now, there's quite a few things in the uh, Celestial Tower, so I have to be mindful of that. I might want to use Repels, actually, because the only thing you can find on the second floor are Litwick. Now, I wouldn't mind getting a Litwick, but there's also some other things. Anyway, hi there! How are things with Skyla? Oh, you still haven't earned the gym badge yet? Well, if that's the case, I'll keep up the field work here until the plane is ready to fly. Oh yeah, why don't you try using this? Oh, the lucky egg, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's gonna be just amazing. Um, yeah, so back at the Celestial Tower, I know uh, Awkward dug a few more graves here. Uh, so yeah, we should probably ring the bell a few times when we get up to the top as well. Now, you know what, I'm just too lazy to go and change, or not change, but heal up my Pokemon. I got plenty of Moo Moo Milk. Or, oh, right, no, I know where it is. It's over here. I'll just use some of this. I know it's only healing 20, but that 20 could make a huge difference. And it's pretty cheap. It's like, I don't really need money for a lot of stuff right now. And it's really easy to get money in this game. Oh, but I know what I'm forgetting. I should use a repel also over in my uh, thing. And not that I'm opposed to getting Litwick. I'd just rather have a chance to get either LGM or Golbat just to make it interesting. In fact, actually thinking about it, if I run into Elgium, oh, I can just send out Calypso. Because I don't want Bossa Nova to run into an Elgium. That'd be pretty bad. Okay, so I have to fight some trainers here. Actually, I don't think I technically have to. Indescribable energy is flowing to me. I think all I need to do is just talk to Professor Juniper. Uh, in black and white, you had to go all the way up to the top of the tower to find Skyla and wow, a Musharna. Oh, man. Um, that's bad news bears here. I should probably get out of here. Oh, I hope Calypso has it in her to take this thing out. Musharna is no pushover for a psychic type. Oh, great. Hypnosis. This is going to mess with me by quite a bit. Now, I don't know what this Musharna will do um, attacking-wise, but let's just see. Psybeam. Okay, so definitely didn't want to have um, Bossa Nova out, but Calypso can handle Psybeams, no problem. If that's the worst you've got, I'm not too concerned. Well, lucky chant. There goes my chances of getting a critical hit. There you go. All right, how much are we doing? Now, Musharna is very bulky, so I didn't really expect that to do a lot, and this is where it's going to get really nasty. It's using Defense Curl. So... Yeah, I might actually be better off using Psybeam soon. Maybe get a confusion on it? I don't know. This is going to take forever. I can't get a critical hit right now. So, I mean, right now I'm doing okay. It's just going to take a while. Uh, well, good job, Calypso. Yeah, this defense curl is what's really... Really messing with me here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try switch to side beam. I know it's resisted, but being a special base move, ah, uh, yeah, it's still worse. Okay, lucky chant wore off. That's fine. Maybe we can get a critical hit with faint attack, and maybe that'll do pretty good. Oh, this thing has taken a million hits. I tell ya. If it has rest, I quit. Hypnosis. Okay, well, you can handle that just fine. Um, I guess Faint Attack's still doing a little bit more. Oh, but it has like plus four right now. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. I'm going to switch the Psy Beam just because I'm sure that'll do more at this point. It's going to do such minimal damage. Oh, really? Oh, wow, that's that's really lovely. Um, I'm confused. That's really not what I want to be. So I'm going to use healing item number one here. Let's go ahead and use a full heal because I can sell the Castelia Cone for more money. There. So that's healing item number one. 
can only use three in a battle, just in case you didn't know. Um, let's go for another side beam here. This Misharna isn't really that much of a threat. Oh, there we go. Now I get a critical hit. That's wonderful. There's some good justice. Yay, Boston overleveled up. Alright, take that, Joyce. Whew. That was one heck of a fight. Okay, um, probably not the best move in the world having a poison type lead. I guess I was thinking, oh, this will be a cakewalk. But realistically, probably not. Let's go ahead and have Bergamask out here. Realistically, it seems like um, these psychics, they tend to use either psychic type or ghost type Pokemon. So, Bergamask is probably my best bet. I know, uh, you know, he'll take super effective damage, but he's also pretty bulky. Alright, what do you got? Thanks to my little Litwick's light, my victory is coming into view! Well, I don't know about that. Um, hmm. Now, this actually presents an interesting option, because clearly she has a Litwick. But, I think if I switched out for Polka, I could really mess with this Litwick strategy. Um, so let me go ahead and do that, because Polka has Rock Blast, which rocks uh, against Litwick. And she's a normal type. So, oh, well, this is what I was worried it would do. Oh, jeez. Okay, um, well, shoot. I didn't expect it to get a critical hit like that. All right, well, we'll just use a Moo Moo Milk. It's not that this is overly difficult to take down. I just don't want to have two critical hits. I was really hoping it'd use, like, Hex or something, but apparently it didn't want to do that. So let's just put it out of its misery with Rock Blast. See, it probably didn't even need to heal, but just to be on the safe side, I know that Rock Blast can miss. It seems like that would be something that would happen to me. All right, so that's out of the way. Um, let's see. There we go, Will-O-Wisp. Kind of handy, I guess. I don't know. Actually... The only thing I'd really want to have learned that already knows it. Burger Mask. Hyper Potion. Always good to have. Okay, now what does this guy use? Oh man, you know what? I'm actually not sure, so I'm going to use Hokey Pokey. She's only level 37, so I think she'll be, you know, capable of fighting. Put up a good fight. Very strong. When Pokemon trainers meet, what we do is, of course, engage in a Pokemon battle, don't we? Why, yes, sir, we do. That is indeed what we do. Okay, so let's see. You got this little chillin' on your back there. You got a Clefairy. Well, this is <laughs> gonna be over pretty quickly. All right, Hokey Pokey. Take this thing out. Send it back to the moon. Boom! Time for some Arm and Hammer, yeah! All right, you can gain a level. Wow, that thing gives a lot of experience. My goodness, 1,300. I don't remember Clefairy giving that much experience for some reason. Huh, go figure. I wish I could fight that guy over and over again. Oh, yeah, I have the Repel on. That's right. I just want to get up to a higher floor. Maybe, like, the fourth floor or something. Um, Let's see. What is this girl going to use? I mean, I guess I should probably use Calypso and Bossa Nova. I try to keep my levels relatively even. But I don't want to use them against those psychics down there. No. Oh, you want to have a battle with me? All right, I have a strong Pokemon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hopefully it's not too strong. Um, Cub Chew. Excuse me, did you just say that you have a strong Cub Chew? This doesn't look overly strong. Um, let's go ahead and Psy Shock it. I really don't want to have my words come back and bite me, but... Slash, okay. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Hyper Potion. No, I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably be a two-hit KO either way. Yep. All right, let's just take it out. Endure. Okay, <laughs> make it a three-hit KO, just for good measure. Just because. Yeah, this thing's so strong. Um, let's just faint attack. Really? Is this really necessary? Well, apparently it is. This Cub Chew just doesn't want to give up. She just 
just fighting for her life. <laughs> no, sorry, it doesn't work that way. All right, that's right, my Pokemon is no longer with me. Oh, that's so sad. I just killed her Pokemon right in front of her. Well, I mean, you know, it's kind of weird how that works, being a Nuzlocke. Well, a variant, it's a wedlock technically, but... Uh, yeah, you know, how does that affect trainers? Because Pokemon that faint in a Nuzlocke, or variant, they're considered dead, so... Yeah, that really puts an interesting perspective on those training videos. Alright, I don't have to fight that guy, but I might as well. I do need some experience, and I guess it's good practice. Alright, let's show the resting spirits the dazzling splendor of life. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Um, uh, Mickey. Okay, he's got, wow, an Espeon. That's really cool. Except for the fact it's also rather scary. Uh, one thing I do not want to do is burn it. Simply because if I do that, then it is going to uh, use Synchronize. And then I'm going to be burned. Which doesn't really matter, but I'm actually going to go for Power Split. Because this thing has a lot of special attack. And if I can take away that special attack and actually use some of it... Since this will kind of balance our special attack stats, so they're average now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Oh, now I think I might almost want to use Disable. I don't know. I think it shouldn't hit too hard. We'll find out. Um, whoa. Alright, I do have to be mindful of that. Alright, the good news is, I think one more hit and I'll take this thing out. But Future Sight could really mess with me. All right, come on, take it out. There we go. Good job. Whew, Espeon, that's pretty strong, actually. I think it has a lot of special attack. Oh, man, I am so glad I didn't have uh, Calypso out there. That could have been really disastrous. Okay, there we go. Take some milk. And, oh, there... I guess... Oh, no, I have to fight you in order to... Well, I guess I don't have to, but I want to. And then there's a nurse. I'm here to understand the end of the world, but I don't quite get it. If I have a battle, will I be enlightened? I'll end your world! All right, let's do this. Um... Oh, that's a guy. I thought it was a girl. Whoops. My bad. All right, Elgium. Oh, I'm trying to remember what that thing has for an ability. I think it also might have Synchronize, so I'm not going to waste time on Power Split, because I think I'll still have better special attack. Wow, nice. And Duosion, huh? Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess Bergamask can take it out. Mocha's already high enough of a level, so really feel the need to do that. Now this thing I know doesn't have um, really too much of anything. And you know what? Hex is going to be a two-hit KO anyway. I don't really see the point of burning it. I do a little bit more damage. Oh man, what is with all these critical hits? Jeez, I've gotten I think three critical hits against me this episode alone. That's pretty sad. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Usually when that happens, the end, is that it? Yeah. I just ended your world. Um, oh, you know what? I am tempted to heal, but at the same time, I know I'm going to get a free healing from that nurse. So let me actually, uh, let's use Calypso here. I don't know what she's going to use. I don't have a feeling it's going to be anything too tough. You need a nurse's help? Sure, if you can win against me, I'll make your Pokemon healthy. I need a doctor kit! <laughs> Alright, let's fight against Nurse Dixie. Alright, I'll leave Vanny? Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad memories here. Oh, man. Um, well, one thing I know is we can't have Calypso fight this. But Bossa Nova should do great against Lee Vanny. Oh, I didn't see that one coming. Okay, so let's see. Razor Leaf. Oh, that's not too threatening. Bossa Nova will handle that. Yeah! What you gonna do about that, Lee Vanny? Oh, 
Okay, so it's going for Slash, but not too worried about that. Another critical hit! I mean, I know that Slash has an increased critical hit rate, but really? It's still not that high of a critical hit rate. I think maybe 12.5%? I mean, jeez. Oh well, at least I get all healed now. And I can always run back to her to heal some more. Which is good. So, nearing the fourth floor, and that's actually where I want to be. Uh, just to kind of give me a better chance of getting interesting Pokemon. Regardless of what I run into here, I'll get a chance to get a new Pokemon. So that's cool. Now, I think these old people, they have some tough Pokemon, if I recall. I don't remember what. I just kind of remember they're a little challenging. Let's try use Hokey Pokey. Now that everyone's up to 38. Alright, you. Let's fight. Socialite. Oh my, what a young trainer. If it's all right, why don't we battle? Yes, why don't we? We can have a cup of tea, a spot of tea while we're at it. All right. <laughs> oh, she looks pretty funny all animated, you know? Paula Rosalia, this is brilliant. Perfect matchup here. Okay, so this thing's getting a fire punch. Boom! Yeah! You got nothing on me. Alright. There, at the end, I nearly called out my late Pokemon's name. <laughs> well, he just added another one to the list. Alright, and some PP up. Cool. Let's fight against this guy. Guess I might as well use uh, Hokey Pokey again. Let us have our Pokemon battle with Gentlemanly Reserve. Really? Gentlemanly Reserve? Are you implying that nearly is a gentleman? Wow, is that Bryce? That looks like Bryce. Same pose and everything. Ooh, Umbreon. Not quite as threatening as Espeon, but still not something uh, fun to deal with. It has a lot of defenses. Uh, I have just the right pair to take this thing out, though. But this could be a lot more of a hassle if I did not have this pair out. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I didn't think it'd actually do enough to knock it out. I was right. Um, let's see. Faint attack didn't hurt too bad. I'm actually half surprised he didn't heal. It seems like, you know, these people tend to heal a lot. Ho, ho, ho! Quite the affront. Quite. Um, okay, so now there's just that psychic over there. Um, let's see. I guess let's use Burga Mask. Seems like a good bet. I haven't run into any Sigilyph, and I'm kind of worried about that. I still want to fight! The Wanting Spirits are still commanding me! Like, Sigilyph, they're always bad news. Um, they are fast, and they hit really hard, and they're just kind of a pain. Yamask? <laughs> you only got a Yamask? Hey, check this out. There we go. Got even more hands. I just can't handle these hands. Boom. Alright, yeah, Mask is gone. Put that spirit to rest. And then a Gotharita, wow. Psychic like Sarah is trying to copy my team for a moment here. Oh, you found my leftovers. Hey, these are my leftovers. You can't have them. Flatter? Oh, man, you're flattering me. Okay, um, oh, that's fine. Burger Mask won't hit himself too hard in confusion, I don't think. No, not at all. Six damage, that is nothing. I will take the special attack boost. Psy Shock. Again, shouldn't do too much. That's not too bad. <laughs> so while I was doing that attack, I'm thinking, you know, I should really be using um, Will-O-Wisp more often with, uh, with Hex. But you know what? In a lot of instances, it's not really necessary. Now, Shadow Claw, I wonder if Bergamask can learn that. You see, where it's better to use that is if you know it's going to be a two-hit KO. And like a solid two-hit KO. Because Will-O-Wisp does not have perfect accuracy. Oh, can't learn Shadow Claw. That's a shame. You think those hands could do something. Um, it only has 75% accuracy. So while it does do a little extra damage from Burn, because remember... Hex does double the damn. Ooh, actually, Bossa Nova could really benefit from this. Let me get rid of Sludge. I know that people have been saying that Sludge and Sludge Bomb are redundant. That's very true, they are. It's just Sludge Bomb only has 10 PP, so this is kind of nice for training, but really, Will O Wisp is just insane. 
All right, there we go. But yeah, um, it does double the damage if they're affected by a status condition, right? Well, you could also use the move twice in a row, and you'd basically end up doing the same amount of damage. It's just you also have that little bit of burn damage, which is handy, don't get me wrong. But it doesn't make it, um, like, super good. Okay, so the repel wore off. Who do I have active right now? It makes it good against physical attackers. That's, I guess, what I was trying to say. Physical attackers that are rather bulky. That's definitely what I want to do. But that's why I'm using Hex just on its own. Because I don't want to miss with Will-O-Wisp and then be out nothing. Uh, Bergamask, though. Let's see. I think actually using Calypso is my best bet. Because there's... No, actually... Actually... I'm so confused. Okay, so there's Golbat... There's... Yeah, let's use Calypso. Because there's Golbat here, there's Elgium, and then there's Litwick. Bossa Nova can handle everything except for... Elgium. And then Calypso's got that, so we'll just do it that way. Alright, so let's see what I get here. I'm rather curious. Oh, it's Autumn now. Oh, I guess I'm up top. Yeah, playing on July 1st, so... It's kind of cool. I don't know if this episode's going to be up right away, though. Just a heads up, because I'll actually be gone for the U.S. National Championships for Pokemon. So I'm trying to record two episodes for uh, Friday and Saturday while I'm gone. Hopefully I'll manage to do that, but that's kind of the plan. All right, so you know what? I think we should do this since we're up here. I know we have five deaths right now, and, you know, it's pretty amazing to think of how far we've come and you know how many we've lost I still remember I mean shoot just think for a moment we had flamenco we had swing die we had poor poor oh it wasn't partridge it was um oh man I uh limbo that's right <laughs> ended up in limbo and then who else I know that there were two other deaths and they were just so sad uh, Bossa Nova lost his partner, and then Capoeira did. Oh, man. It's actually been a while since I've played, so that's why I'm a little foggy on this. You know what? Let me just look it up really quick. <laughs> Alright, I'm a terrible trainer, and I should feel bad. I, I just, I couldn't even remember, but now I remember clearly. Jitterbug, that's right. Poor Jitterbug. Flamenco and Jitterbug. And then Swing and Samba, they both lost their lives, as well as Limbo. So let us ring the bell, first for Limbo. Oh man, poor Limbo. I tell you, he just did not really have that much of a time to shine. He got taken out just narrowly by a Dunsparce. So bad. He got terrible damage rolls. Like the worst. Oh, man. Then, of course, we had that... Oh, that massacre against uh, Berg, where we lost both Flamenco, our starter, and um, his partner, Jitterbug, the Livani. Poor Flamenco. Never even made it up to Embor. Let's ring the bell for Flamenco. And now, we ring the bell for his partner, Jitterbug, who also lost her life in that fight. Oh, man. Then, of course, we have... Oh, just terrible, terrible massacre by that darn, darn Darmanitan. No offense, Hokey Pokey. Uh, poor Swing. I'm so amazed that Capoeira is alive, and I guess the irony that Capoeira is now paired with the very thing that took out his first partner! Well, okay, they're not entirely the same. They're both Darmanitan, but, you know, <laughs> it's not the same one. Um... And then we have Samba, 
who lost her life shortly afterwards to a sigilyph, which is why I can never look at those things the same way. <sighs> well, that's that at least. I mean, thankfully there haven't been too many more deaths. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, I've gone quite a ways without it. Oh, you know what, though? I should probably go back up here, because this is where I have the highest chance to get something cool. And while I do like Litwick and all, I also really like Elgium. And I totally missed out on getting a Zubat. So, although really, I don't want a Golbat. I mean, they're good, but it seems like I always use those things. I'll just go down on this floor here, and we'll see what, uh, what I can get. Should have pretty decent odds of getting stuff. All right, so my encounter, pretty much guaranteed to go with it. All right, Litwick, cool. So, gonna get a Litwick here. And that is fine by me. Now, I don't think I have Quick Balls. I think we kind of went through this. I do have that Master Ball, though. I wonder if the Dusk Ball works here. I don't actually think it would. Um, all right. Now, I don't think Sludge Bomb's going to do a lot of damage. So we're gonna try this out. That wasn't too bad. Okay, so it's going for Will-O-Wisp. That's, I guess, to be expected. Now, thankfully, I don't think Litwick are that difficult to catch. Oh, what would... Oh, I don't really have anything that looks cool, so... Let's just do this Great Ball. I guess that's alright. I know I have Ultra Balls, but... Litwick aren't overly difficult to catch, so I'll just save it for a moment. There we go. Cool, I got me a Litwick. All right, well, I wonder what I should name him. Hmm. Its flame is usually out, but it starts shining when it absorbs life force from people or Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> I guess it was absorbing my life force. Wow. All right, let's, uh, let's see. What to name this little guy? All right, well, I guess it's a little bit silly of a name, but we're going to go with Twist. Do the twist. Twist, twist. All right. <laughs> so we got Twist the Litwick. Cool. Um... Okay, I guess that's all there is to do up here, though. Let's see what my second encounter would have been. Ah, oh, Elgium. That would have been really cool, too. I, I do like Elgium a lot, actually. Um, oh, I need some healing. Thankfully, there's a nurse right downstairs. Yeah, I do like Elgium. But, you know what? Litwick is fine. I didn't get a chance to use um, Litwick in my other one, the black wedlock. I know I caught one, but it wasn't all that great. Okay, so I've fought all the trainers here. That's good. Let me climb on down and actually head on over for the uh, head on over to the Pokemon Center. You know what? I don't remember if I even looked at Volta that I got in the Charge Stone Cave. I know I said I was going to, but I didn't end up doing that, if I recall. So, I should probably go do that. Wow, actually, you know what? Twist is pretty high level. These things are all level 27. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing that I got him. Oh, man. I didn't really need another fire type, though. Seems like that's a curse I have in these games now. I get so many fire type Pokemon that it's crazy. All right, let me ride on back. And we'll just see what's up with my new Pokemon. See how they're doing. I'm trying to think if there's... Anything else I need to do? I guess, really, all that's left is just train for the gym. Kind of exciting. I know I need to, um, or at least I want to teach Thunder Punch. And the reason why, a few people have said, oh, you know what? It's really redundant to have Thunder Punch and Ice Punch for Capoeira. Well, that's true, but you know what? Ice Punch isn't going to be effective against all of her Pokemon. In fact, of the three that I remember she has... Skarmory and Swana, they're both just neutral damage to Ice Punch. Thunder Punch would be effective against all of her Pokemon, to my knowledge. So that's why it's kind of important. I don't really want to use Capoeira because, yeah, fighting type. But definitely something to keep in mind. I think that could be a tough fight. Polka might be my best bet, but I don't know what I'm going to do against Skarmory. Oh, man, I don't know what she has for her fourth Pokemon, because it seems like all the, the gym leaders, they have an extra Pokemon in this. Okay, so Foxtrot's careful. Adamant. I don't think that's the right nature for you. That's a shame. Oh, well. 
Alright. Um, it does have compound eyes, though. That's the better ability. And then... Ooh, modest nature? That's amazing. Oh, that's great. So Twist has just the right nature. Oh, man, 60 special attack already. Oh, and you have flame burst. You could be really decent. Oh, man. The only downside would be... Well, actually, I guess it's not a problem. There's a lot of other male Pokemon. Like, I wouldn't want to pair her with Hokey Pokey. Or pair him, I'm sorry, with Hokey Pokey. Because, uh, again, two fire types. I don't want to do that. But, yeah, that could be interesting. Could pair with quite a few things, actually. Not Well, couldn't pair with Bergamask, no matter what. It'd be really good pair with Polka, actually. For the same reasons Bergamask is. Also be really good... I guess okay, paired with Calypso, both weak to- Nah, not actually that great. Yeah, well, that's fine. Um, so, I guess all that's left to do is a bit of training for the gym. And my levels right now are actually not too bad. I want to get them maybe up to level 40 or so. I think the level cap is 42, so I don't have too far to go. Shouldn't take too long at all. And then it's just up to taking on the gym leader. Now, the only thing is, I need to get some shards if I want to teach Thunder Punch. And I don't think anything else can learn Thunder Punch, but my goodness, if I can get something with a, a an Electric-type move here, I'll be in much better shape, because that's what really worries me. I don't have access to anything that's effective against her. And that really, that can be bad. Okay, so, yeah, nothing can learn Volt Switch, and I think that's the only Electric-type move I have. Yes, it is. So, kind of going to be out of luck if that doesn't work out. I guess maybe... I don't know, maybe Rock Tomb? Eh, <laughs> pretty much, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to give that some thought, but you know what? I'll figure that all out. And uh, I guess I'll take on the gym leader in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black 2 Wedlock. See you next time, airplanes. Aw, yeah.